Welcome to mechanical tutorial. I am going to teach you different techniques in SOLIDWORKS for mechanical engineers. I am going to train you different modules like surface modeling, sheet metal and enclosure design, product design, plastic components design, reverse engineering and many more tips and tricks in SOLIDWORKS. Hi, today I am going to explain about deviation analysis. Left side you can see a model with a uniform cross section which is a revolve feature and the right side is a feature with a sweep. So I am going to show you deviation analysis of these two surface models and I am going to explain what is the importance of this deviation analysis tool. So in this model when I select this edge and calculate the deviation analysis it shows an arrow with most of the arrows are in red color that means it is having uniform curvature see here and the angle deviation is 25 so there is no much deviation so left side you can see 23.7 23.6 23.5 so there is no much deviation in this curve similarly when we analyze for the other model so i'm going to select these two edges so we here we can select multiple edges and we can calculate so now i will keep in top view see here the red color shows that it is having uniform curvature and here left side you can see the degrees of deviation 83.5 83.4 83.3 83.2 and 83.1 so there is no much deviation so whenever we create any surface model then we have to verify the deviation why we have to verify the deviation and this angle see in this model so the tool is cutting a work piece so here we can see the curves while creating the cuts the circle is also is a uniform curve and here also it is cutting with the slot so whenever we cut any workpiece with tool it should have uniform curvature otherwise there is a possibility of breaking the tool so that's why it's very much important especially while creating a surface model the uniform curvature is very much important see here in this sketch we can see two arcs and one spline so whenever we create a surface model we have to always create with an arc any complicated curve we have to use multiple arcs to create that single sketch so it's very important otherwise there is a possibility of breaking the tool so this surface is made with this created with this sketch so this sketch is very much important so we have to maintain the tangency at the curvature otherwise it will lose its aesthetics as well as possibility of breaking the tool in spline we cannot maintain uniform cross section so at particular point there is a possibility of breaking the tool whenever we create a surface model 
we should always prefer to create a sketch with arcs not with spline so this is a brief about deviation analysis thanks for watching